the parking lots, um, and I will say this for parks too, I guess the parking lots I gave Victor's position, the, the supervisor's position stayed at the same rate. Under um, seasonal wages, I did put in a 3% raise for those, just the cost of living raise or whatever. They usually make um, $10 an hour, but they haven't had a raise in a couple years, so I threw that in. And it, if this should move forward and pass, it is also my intention to give a 3% raise to all of the people that are in the revolving fund, which would be the camp staff and the after-school program staff and, that, and stuff of that nature during the revolving fund, too. So that's my intention there. And then the change that you see under the lease, we had to add a thousand dollars onto the lease for Church Street. And then everything else is pretty much the same. The um, supplies and expenses fluctuates every year with the different things. If we need a new sign or something of that nature, so that's just a little fluctuation there. Questions? Um, no, again, with the wages, I'd like to do that all at one time, but I do have a question for her. I know we heard earlier from a public comment about how the parking revenues were down, whatever it was, 80000 Obviously, we didn't have a very good summer to begin with. Um, and then Weird we weather. <laughs> right, very weird. It was really weird, weird weather. Um, and then we were talking a couple weeks ago, the board was talking about automating the lots, which would probably, it would be costly. Um, I'm not sure. We'd probably have to have someone come in. Right. But my thinking is if we're going to have someone come in to do that, why not come in to do a garage? Right. And I talked to you a little bit this afternoon because, like I said, when that came out in public, I wasn't prepared to speak about it publicly. Yep. And I spoke with you a little while about it this afternoon, and I'm really considering maybe having – I don't know how anyone, everyone feels about it, but at least having someone, if we're going to have someone come in and do a study on automation, what would the cost difference be with just adding a garage and doubling, if not tripling, our capacity? Right. Because we do have the prime parking location down mm -hmm. that beach, if you ask me. It's I agree. It's right in front of the police station. I agree. And I'm not opposed to that at all. I just know that a few years ago I did look into automation and it was very costly and I was told at that time that we would do status quo because they would, didn't want to. It was a different, obviously it was a different board, but um, they didn't want to move forward with that. But I'm not opposed to looking into it to see what today's figures are either, to see for future reference. And right, Charlie's, exactly. And Charlie's maybe. talked about that. You know, get more of like an idea, like maybe figure out a way that the town could agree to maybe start putting some money aside to work toward that because we all know parking is an issue, yeah. and we got we got we got the parking right there. I know. We just got to uh, build on it, and you guys do a great job, and you can't. Uh, there's no control over weather, so right, thank you. right. Trustee, I think the parking and, and the garage are two different stories, two different yeah, entities. I think we can start with, with parking. I'm not opposed to looking at a parking garage, but I, I think we can start with the automization of, of the parking, and I would still like to see that. We look into that, make sure we can do it. Uh, I think it would be more friendly to the people. You know, when you come down to the beach and you got to shell out $20 in cash for the parking lot, and then that takes $20 away from but if you could use your credit card or, or whatever to, to uh, or your debit card, so that you're not using all your cash up for doing that. I think it's it's better. I think it gives you a more accurate count. Like I said before, you still need the employees to work in the lots. Uh, so I, I think we should look at the automation. And if I mean, if you want to put in that too to look at a parking garage too, that's fine. But I, I think we should at least start with the automation first. And as far as the employees, I, I have no problem uh, uh, waiting on the salary line but we need to also look at our employees we need to have and we've talked about a wage study before we have to uh, look at what different departments in our own town are getting with similar jobs uh, I know we've had a hard time finding employees uh, we can't fill those summer positions because they can't do that but we're not alone in that uh, every every restaurant motel hotel out there is feeling the same pinch so I think we need to look at what our uh, our salaries are. We need to adjust some of those. And so, and I, th I think Diana has tried to do that with this, 
I mean, we can talk about what we want to give for raises, but we also need to look at what we need to do to adjust the, the actual positions and, and what that position is worth. Yeah, I agree with Rusty, and I think that we have to, if we were to um, automate, uh, we have to, uh, we like, right, you, like you said, we still need some employees, but I would think the employee situation would be drastically different, and maybe we need to be starting um, with some fresh ideas. Uh, you know, there could be, it could be a whole different structure than it is today. And I think those two things go hand in hand. I think it would have to be because truthfully, besides paying for it, I think the hardest thing is going to, is going to be how do we manage the leases? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We may need some type of uh, direct s supervisor that's different than from what we have today or whatever. So we'll have to look at all of that. And I think that, you know, um, I myself am not in charge in favor of the town getting into the business of trying to manage the parking because there's other private people that could do that. But even by automating it uh, and people only paying for the time they use, which is different than the way we do it today, uh, who, that will show whether if there, what the true value of having a garage there, I think, the automation part of it would work as a good predecessor right. to give us the idea of what yeah. we do need there. Yeah, the thing I can't wrap my head around is if we have like say two or three turnovers in a day now at ten dollars an hour, that's thirty dollars in for each spot. If we had the same amount of turnover, if we were charging two dollars an hour, would be we make would we be making the same amount? That's the part I, I can't figure out from the statistics that we have. I, I have a feeling that. we're going to make less. Well, that's what I originally thought, but I'm not sure about that. So, mm -hmm. But it would be fairer. Uh, so, you know, the devil's in the details. Right, exactly. But with a garage, you can have more capacity down there. Right. And you still need people with a garage. Right, Don't get we, me wrong. Right. You still need, you still need people. You can go to Phil oh, sorry. next. Uh, I, yeah, um, I don't have any comments operationally tonight, Mr. Chairman. I, I support your budget as presented uh, across all lines uh, with the exception of uh, the uh, pay matters. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, and I would just like to say that uh, the same thing, you know, hold off on the wages until then. You guys do a great job. The only reason the Patriots won yesterday is because you sent three buses down there, right? <laughs> That's right. And it was the cheering from Hampton that brought them the victory. So. It wasn't looking good at the beginning. I was like, let's go, Renee. Come on. Yeah. So congratulations. Thanks. Thank you.